Sound, you gotta rap. We heard, we heard the raw in the studio loud with the woofers playing that yeah. night, fresh from the st oh man, that song sounded incredible. Man, that song sounded probably better that night than I've ever heard. It was like, this is some crazy shit. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Well, just like Ride on Foes or Ride With No Sin and that song, those songs ain't going nowhere. What? Mm. Man, that movie Ride on Foes, you did that? Man, we had the chance to do it, though. Let's give a quick story behind that song, though. Okay, go ahead. All right, so for one, let's just The whole world might not know this, but we're gonna lay it on the table today. The way J Dog used to record, he didn't rap to your beats, he rapped to instrumentals. Eminem beats. Whoever beat was on the radio, that's the beats J Dog rapped to. Okay. He didn't sit in the studio and say, play me some beats. He rapped to whatever he liked that was out. So boom, Ride With No Ceiling, I mean Ride On Foes was recorded on an Eminem song. Mm -hmm. Rayface, which is Slim's brother, who yeah, was course, the owner of, of Boss Hog Outlaw. Yeah. Everybody thought it was Slim, but it was Rayface. No, I knew. Rayface said, hey, I like this song he did on his Eminem beat. I need to send this to the producer, see who make the hardest beat for it. Now he didn't know it was gonna be a classic, he just liked the song. Yeah. So he sent it to us, he sent it to the TA, he sent it to Mr. Lee, and say, hey, y'all make a beat to this. Whoever got the best beat, I'm gonna use. And of course, Mr. Lee won. Time. Ace time. Say, I got my leg. But, no, yeah. but look, no, but look, when we had one, so at, at that time, you know, everybody sent the beats. Ray was like, okay, I think this is it. So, you know, we young, we <laughs> all right. This nigga, I remember he came in, it was probably one in the morning, maybe two in the morning. We, we probably about to leave. He walk in there with a hard drive. He go in the, in the main room at the hall pen. That's uh, Slim Thug in the old studio. He walk in. He say, "Hey, y'all, listen to this." <laughs> now, I don't even think he told us to come in there. I think we was in our room, and when that them bells came in, whatever, and you heard J Dot go, "Yeah, we knew the yeah," because we had just made a beat to that to that acapella. And when them dun, 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 came in, it was like, "Oh shit, we lost kids." Ace <laughs> time. Say, I got my leg. I don't think we're gonna be. I don't, ours was Mr. so Lee not took that. It out. Oh, that man, that's it. Sound you gotta rap. We heard, we heard the raw in the studio loud with the woofers playing that yeah. night, fresh from the st oh man, that song sounded incredible. Man, that song sounded. Probably better that night than I've ever heard. It was like, this is some crazy shit. What, sure. does, uh, <laughs> what do you think about Mr. Lee? I had him on the show here recently. Just Love, what does he mean? Man. What does he mean to you? Everything. Guys? Everything. Everything. Like Mr. Lee was He don't understand he was our mentor. Yeah, he, he don't, don't know he was the one that was motivating us all yeah. these years. Wow. I think like, Ray used to do that to us too though. Like you like, I mean, well Lee uh Lee did it. You know what I'm saying? He'll do that to us. You know what I'm saying? But Lee is somebody we watched, you know what I'm saying? And just hey, hey, and had love for. He pushed us to be yeah. who we are today. Yeah. He don't even realize it. And that wasn't him physically or saying anything to us, just by being around him and man and knowing he was the hit man. We slim little bro, so wherever yeah. slim at, we at. So if we go to Lee House, if Slim go to Lee House, we with him. So we was around for all of those Mr. Lee classics and everything. And like that motivated us more than what anybody could have done at that time. Yeah. I Mr. Lee man, like I said, when I started this podcast, man. I linked up with him through a couple of sources and me and him grown a relationship to where he gonna hit me up and check on the show and everything else, mm -hmm. man, and always trying to help, you know, get to some of the other, whether it be mm -hmm. a younger person or a lawyer or something just seen on the show, man. And I, that's the part where, like, when I came in this game, I love music. Yeah. I just love the music. So you do more than music, though, right? No, but I just love the music. Uh -huh. I didn't never do music. I just love the music. Gotcha. You know, I'm a fan, you nigga. Like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. if I see y'all and I know y'all produce, nigga, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. talk to y'all real. They're gonna be like, what? Y'all right. man. Right. Right. I'm that guy. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.